all right before i get any comments of hey how do you get this player into the like i know a team or how did you get this roster it's super easy guys like go to the vault go to a roster vault if you're looking for a roster player vault if you're looking for a player and then just load it up it's really simple if you're looking for a player go to the player vault search the player you're looking for then go to roster control and then import position player super easy guys i know i'm still gonna get comments and it's it's uh it, uh just, let's get into the video how's everybody doing today and as you can see we're back with another what if today's what if is what if ichiro played his entire mlb career could he break or what if ichiro played his entire career in the mlb could he break that mlb hits record if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you hit the like button down below if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that subscription button and hit that bell notification icon so you guys know whenever a video goes live it'll notify you you guys won't miss any more videos in the future and then also in the comment section start a debate do you guys think Ichiro could break that hits record if he played his entire career in the MLB I want to know I want to know what you guys think so Pete Rose is the current MLB um, holder for most hits in a career he has 4,256 Ichiro in his MLB career had 3,089 that puts him at about 28th on the all-time list in Japan Ichiro had a nine-year career where he had 2,000 or no 1,278 hits so total Ichiro had 4,367 hits so a lot of people say Ichiro is the best baseball hitter of all time but those hits in Japan don't count obviously for major league records so we're gonna take the first nine years of Ichiro's career from 18 till he came to the majors and uh, we're going to see if he really can break the MLB hits record. So we're going to sim the first nine years of his career from 18 to, you know what, 27 to see if he could break that number of 4,256. I definitely think he can. He was always known as a very, very good contact hitter, um, consistently hitting 200 you know, plus hits a season. So let's get into it. What we're going to do here is I downloaded in each row off the player vault like i've already mentioned in today's video and um i think this one's a little bit too high rated um in terms of hitting stats and some other stats i'm going to show you the one that i have now he's a 90 overall i'm going to tune his stats down just a little bit i think his power is just a little bit too high his age should be 18 so i'm going to tune it a little bit you guys can see what it is now i'm going to mess around with it a little bit i'll get to you guys in a sec Okay, I think this is a little bit better. Um, I think his contact numbers were a little bit too high. His power numbers were a little bit too high and stuff like that. So I think this is a little bit better. Obviously, his rating is going to be inflated because you can see his clutch, his bunt, his fielding and stuff like that are a little bit... Um, or His fielding and his speed are definitely going to bring up his rating compared to his hitting stats. Um, doesn't have a lot of power, which he's never really known for his power. Mostly known for just his base hits. And you guys can see his contact numbers are a little bit better. Um, and I think this reflects a younger each row a little bit um a, a little bit more accurately compared to like a full-blown like 99 overall each row so at 18 years old no mlb service time we're gonna see how the first nine years of his career go i'm very interested to see if he could get that number of you know 12,000 hits that he needs in the first first year so let's hop into it let's see how things go um, I'm going to tinker with the lineup a little bit. I think we can do a little bit better with this Mariners lineup. I'm not going to make any trades or anything like that. This is all about each row. Let's see how this what if plays out. All right, season one finishes 85 and 77. Probably just missed the playoffs, but let's take a look. Let's see how things went. Each row had the most triples. Um, and then let's, let's see any awards, a gold glove for each row as well. Let's take a look, see how things went for the, the youngster. 80 eight overall so i think he went up what one overall stats have gone up a little bit here and there um let's see how his season finished 198 hits so not terrible um he definitely is on pace to actually yeah he's he's you know he's having a pretty solid you know pace to break that already so 302 average 355 on base percentage ops at about 800 which is around his career ops um but yeah i mean his average is about his career average as well I mean, he's he's basically doing Ichiro stats. Um, I'm kind of interested to see who won Rookie of the Year. Eloy Jimenez had, I mean, basically the home runs was the the difference maker there. 
but you guys can see 80 RBIs, 8 home runs, 302 average. And the big stat I'm worried about is that 198 hits. So we'll definitely continue with this. I just wanted to show you how season one kind of played out. Let's kind of, we'll probably do increments of three just to kind of see if any awards or anything pop up as well. So let's see how season three plays out and uh, see where he is on track to beat that 1200 hit mark. Season three, Mariners are actually in the playoffs. They won the division. All right. That's cool. Let's take a look at uh, Ishtra's stats. Let's see how things are going. He's up to a 90 now. Um, it's mostly the hitting stats are going to improve. This year, he had his worst year in terms of hits, but the power went up a little bit with the home runs. He also is the leadoff hitter. The average is dipping, though. I don't like to see that because Ichiro is like a 300-plus hitter in terms of average. So something's something's got to change. Ichiro is not doing too well in terms of the average. But through, th through three years... He's at 585 hits. So at this point, I definitely think he's going to hit that 1,200 mark. He might even hit it by like season six. So the first first nine years, he might be setting records at this point. So, so far, so good. Ichiro's, Ichiro's definitely on pace to break that hits record. So let's just keep going through it. See what happens. Alrighty, season six. Again, Mariners are in the playoffs. Kind of seems like every checkpoint is when the, the Mariners are in the playoffs. Most stolen bases for Ichiro. Nothing else. But uh, no wards. Let's take a look at how Ichiro is doing. He's up to a 94. The age of 23. His contact stats are through the roof. Vision kind of should be a little bit higher. But we're almost there at season 6. I thought it was going to be a little bit closer. Because his hits were you know, kind of low. But I mean he's averaging close to 200 hits a season. I mean he's definitely going to do it. His average is almost 300 every year. I mean, this guy is going to break records. By how much? I mean, at this rate, I mean, he has another three years to add 200 hits each season. That's insane. So, he's almost at that total. He's basically broken the hits record by now. Let's take a look and see how season nine plays out. Or I should say seven, eight, and nine. Just to kind of see the total of all the hits he was going to have. So... Ichiro so far is is really close to the hit total. I mean, he was at at this point he's at forty one. No, he's actually at like forty two. He might have actually broken it by now. I think he might have broken it by now. I gotta do the maths real quick. Quick maths. Let's do it. So he had three thousand eighty nine eleven sixty two. Yeah, he broke it. Oh, he's no, he's five short. He is five hits short. He is five hits short of the record already. So let's just keep going. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun with it. Like, you know, I'll see you guys at season nine. I want to see what you guys' predictions are going to be in the comment section. Where do you think he's going to finish off? How many hits is he going to have by season nine? Alrighty, season nine. So first season, first nine years of his career are up. He throws a 98. And I mean, this are pretty pretty solid numbers to see for his attributes as attributes but let's take a look at the stats let's see how much how many hits and stuff he's had at this point in his career i'm actually kind of excited to see where we're at 17 10 let's add that to the total 4799 hits almost 4800 hits by the time his career would be over if you added this up. And you're probably thinking, well, this isn't realistic. He would never hit that many hits. His average would always be low, blah, 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 blah. But if you look at career statistics for Ichiro Suzuki, it took him until the age of 37. 37 was the first time in his career that his average dipped below 300. So that was, the, that was his 10th year in the league in the majors. That was the first time his average dipped below 300, which is crazy to think about. That was also the first time that his hit total dipped under 200. So let's take a look. Every single year has been around 200 hits, which when you're younger, yeah, you're a little bit more free swinging. You're not necessarily a polished hitter, but this is probably still very accurate of what Ichiro could produce during his young, like younger years of his career. You know, when he came into the league, he was 27 years old. He was a very polished hitter. He was a very polished player. You know, he definitely has those abilities to hit 300 plus to uh, average. You know, his hitting is going to be around 200 hits a season. His on-base percentage is like 350 
plus every single year once he entered the majors. The first time his average dipped below 350 was again in 2011 when he was 37 years old. Just unreal to think about. So Ichiro, I think, is definitely the best hitter in baseball history in terms of just hit total on base percentage, average, and stuff like that. He is just crazy, crazy good with the bat. And when you look at this, this definitely shows that he could be that good. I think the home run total is definitely a lot higher um, than it would be considering in Ichiro's 19 years in the majors, he only hit 117 home runs. And he's already passed that in nine years. So I think the home run total will definitely be a lot a lot lower. But um, maybe the, the home runs are probably, or not the home runs, the RBIs are probably a little inflated as well because... The most RBIs that Ichiro ever had in a season was 69. Um, now that I'm looking at his stats. But stolen bases, let's take a look. I mean, those are probably pretty accurate when you look at it. He was averaging around tw like high 20s, low 30s. So you definitely can see this is pretty pretty accurate to what he was doing. So this is, this is it, guys. Almost 4,800 hits. Crazy to think about. Breaking the record by like 5,000. Like just just crazy crazy not yeah no 500 500 breaking the record by about 500 hits um so yeah it's it's crazy to think that a player like this could break a record if he would have just joined the mlb a little bit younger um but that's gonna wrap it up guys almost 4800 hits for the career of ichiro suzuki just a crazy good hitter and just kind of gives you an idea of what could have been expected if he played his entire career in the major. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed today's video, again, hit that subscription button, it's free. You can hit that bell notification icon. Make sure you never miss a video in the future. We do a lot of franchise, we do what ifs, stuff like that. We take a look, we have some fun here. And in the comment section, you know, let's get a little debate going, a little, little back and forth. Do you guys really think Ichiro could have broken the hits record? Do you guys agree that he could that he is one of the best hitters, if not the best hitter in the modern ball era? Just let me know down below. Also, let me know what other what ifs you guys would like to see. Um, and that's that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.